2010 FIFA World Cup begins today in South Africa. I'm totally, totally excited. South Africa playing Mexico in about 30 minutes. Um, I just got an IM from my cousin who says that, my cousin in Ghana who said that his boss just asked them all to go home. And I am now getting ready to go to work, which gave me the idea. So four years ago when Ghana did, you know, their first appearance at the World Cup, I was back home enjoying the whole fever, the whole frenzy, reading the news, getting totally excited about the World Cup. Fast forward four years, I'm in Atlanta and I'm going to work on the day the World Cup is done. So that's what the vlog is about, experiencing the World Cup in Atlanta. Enjoy! Hey, this is Justin. Justin doesn't really watch football, nice. Nice. but he does Operator. follow. <laughs> he does follow the World Cup. So, all right, Justin, um, who do you think is going to win? Uh, this year is going to be Brazil. Yeah. Gonna win. Uh, they're going to play Germany in the finals. All right. So uh, there's talk of Ghana making it to the finals. Woo! Which would be very interesting. <laughs> Um, but I think an intriguing matchup uh, this Saturday is the U.S. versus you know versus England. England. You know what we should do, honestly. I think the U.S. needs to take England out, and then Ghana takes out Germany, and we're done, man. I wish it was that easy. <laughs> except, uh, the U.S. team kind of stinks, and uh, English are are pretty good. So my prediction is uh, three to one for this Saturday in favor of the Brits. Ah, uh, so are you going to be watching at home with friends, or what are you doing for the game? Um, yeah, we're doing a little uh, party on Saturday, but um, probably whenever I'm not physically at the television, it'll be on the computer screen, so if you need any work from me, it's probably not going to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Shana, are you watching the World Cup? No, I don't have a television. <laughs> Why did you have a television? Because I don't. Are you serious? That's not a joke. That's not a joke. <laughs> you don't have a television because of some principle or you just don't have a television? I just don't have a television. Okay, but do you ever watch football? Occasionally. Um, I'm rooting for the U.S. this year. I hope it's a strong <laughs> performance. That's probably not going to happen. Wow. But it's going to be fun to watch the U.S. You know, play a, a good game this year. But who do you think is really going to win? Um... I don't know. I think that it'll be interesting to watch Brazil this year. They have a good chance. Yeah, so. they, they. It's either between them and Spain and Germany and all those other yeah. teams. But what do you think is going to happen tomorrow with U.S. and England? Scores. Um, scores. Yeah. Like what predict the predict the scores tomorrow. <laughs> oh God, I don't know. Like, I would say four two England. <laughs> it's gonna be a. It's gonna be an interesting game. A bunch of white guys on a soccer field. <laughs> Patrick. Okay. Are you a football fan? Uh, yes. You are? Yeah. Nice. So you've been watching games? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes. Mexico <laughs> plays South Africa. In fact, they should be playing right now. Okay. Then I guess you're not on opposite sides because I'm rooting for South Africa and uh -oh. you're probably rooting yeah, for Mexico. Yeah, I have right. to root for Mexico. Viva what, Mexico. <laughs> what do you think the score is going to be today? Oh, wow. I think it'll be, it'll be either 2-1 or 1-0 either way. I'm not going to predict. I'm rooting for Mexico. But, but a lot of people are saying Mexico is a pretty strong team this yeah, year. Yeah, they, they, they feel strong teams that don't seem to ever be able to get too far. <laughs> but they do pretty well, though. Like, yeah, they're, they're getting they, a lot of recognition. Yeah, they've had some coaching changes for the, for the Selección, and they're, they're, they're yeah. looking strong. So I'm going, in my heart, for Mexico all the way. You know? And then tomorrow. Um, what about tomorrow? U.S. and England. What's happening there? They're going to be a tough game right there. But I think U.S. USA 2-1. Yeah, 2-1. What? USA. A big upset. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. You're sticking with our prediction? Yep. Okay. Are you guys sure that you watch football? Are you very sure? Yep. yep. That you're football fans? Yep. Yes. Okay. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> All right. All right. Got the FBI. Sorry. Who's saying over there? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Marshall. Oh, what about you, Tony? Uh, Do you watch football? No, not that. Not that football. Not that football. So you have no clue about the World Cup. Mm -hmm. All right. You're no use then. Uh -huh. oh, okay. <laughs> so you're a little skeptical about. USA and England tomorrow. Yes. Why? Because these guys, like, you know. I just don't know if we have uh, uh, developed to the point where our program is catching up with uh, some of the 
teams in, uh, in Europe and uh, and in South America. But you, but still. You know, and I realized that too because really, in doing such circumstances, like you know, when there's such games, he big games and stuff, I always wish I was in Ghana because yeah. when I was growing up, I mean, these little games that they used to play, Africa Cup of Africa Nations, Cup of Nations, there was yeah. always like a lot of things happening. But then yeah. here, I mean, sometimes you do get it. As I said, the first World World Cup. There were a lot of things going on. And here, I mean, right now, there's still things going on, but it's just that, especially in Atlanta, you realize it's that, is, that people are scattered. Like, a lot of people are up north. In Lawrenceville, in Lawrenceville so far. So I'm sure that they're, you know, they've gathered, gathered there. And then there are some people in the, in the um, you know, um, midtown and stuff. So a lot of people are scattered. So it's going to be quite difficult getting people together. And I usually, we usually have, you know, friends and friends over during such times, but I guess today, just today. So do you watch soccer? A little bit. A little bit? What's a little bit? You follow the World Cup? Uh, I've been watching, I watched the English in the uh, U.S. yesterday. Oh, you did? I Ghana today before. I... Did you watch Ghana? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, you know, we scored. We got one against Serbia. Oh, good, good. Were you I, expecting that? I'm Ghanaian, by the way. Okay, I was rooting for Ghana. You're rooting for Ghana? Yeah. How come? Do you know about Ghana? Nah, you know, I just shot root for, you know, the, uh, the African countries. And, yeah, yeah. You know. All right. That's a good one. And we're the first African country to score anyways in the World Cup. Oh, okay. Congratulations. So, all right. So who do you think is going to win, though? The whole thing? Yeah. Brazil. Yeah? All right. Okay. <laughs> we're on the same side then. Okay. <laughs> that's, if Ghana doesn't win, then I'd rather have Brazil win. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. What about the U.S.? That's your question. Uh, <laughs> I think the U.S. is doing really, really well. I think right now this is the year of the underdog. I think who knows who's going to win. Okay. Could be the U.S., could be Ghana. We'll see how it goes. All right. Go Thank you. So Sunday is here and the weekend is over. And you know what? Atlanta is definitely not Ghana. But it doesn't matter. I have people at work I can discuss football with, people at the local cafe, I can harass people at the cinema, I have friends even if I have to drive a little bit to go watch football. But who cares about all of that? There's always Facebook. Enjoy the rest of the World Cup and have a blessed week.